دمر كل ساحر وساحرة اللهم دمر السحرة ومن شايعهم ومن ناصرهم اللهم دمر الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسول بالهدى والدين الحق ليذر على دين كل وكفى بالله شهيد وشهد لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسول أما بعد أحب في الله You know, if you see your mom and your mom's sister are fighting so hard or arguing or throwing words here and there, what will you do? Put a comment down. Will you side your mom's side or will you side on your aunt's side or will you be the mediator and them together these are two sisters remember but one is your mom what will you do a story of a brother called muhammad in begins by him saying my wife was a good wife one day we went home to my 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 mom my mother-in-law and then i found my mother-in-law and his sister arguing and quarreling with her own sister my wife started joining my mom and fighting her sister very very badly i thought what is this and she kicked her, her aunt out of the house and then i took my wife back home and i told her whatever you did is so bad these are two sisters you should have just become a media somebody solving their issue not you being the one who side your mom and cause more trouble because these are two sisters eventually they will come back together after some time they come back together but when we reach home i called my aunt and i spoke to her say i'm sorry about what my wife did and this and that and i gave my wife say to say sorry she took the phone and smashed it on the floor and i thought oh my days i'm not going to do that again I just leave it to them because go oh, even though she's my wife but that is her own family she knows how to deal with it after some times couple of weeks my aunt my stepmother sister her son was going to get married and everybody was invited the aunt invited everybody and everybody went to the walima to the hafla of uh, engagement and then everybody went to this engagement party and everyone was shaking hand the aunt and my wife comes in and shakes hand everybody and she waved the hand to the aunt and then pulled it out and then told her in front of everybody the gathering was massive and then told her you don't deserve my hand you don't need deserve respect everybody was shocked there absolutely shocked he finished the party finished we go back home when we went back home i told her again that was not necessary for you to do that that is still your aunt now look your mom and your aunt they are speaking they have back to their se- normal self these are sisters after a few couple of days my wife start having pain in the arm very severe pain in the arm and i'm thinking what is this in the night she cannot sp- sleep she just goes to sleep after salat al fajr i have taken her to hospital they check everything is clear another hospital everything is clear but every night she is dying with a pain in the arm the full arm one of the day i touch her arm was absolutely cold and touch the other side is warm like this arm is dead took her to hospital they've done everything they've put painkillers and put everything in the arm pit needles and everything still the problem exist spend money after money going to every hospital i'm still on the same limbo and i thought to myself what do i need to do 
and then i called my mom my step my my mom in law to come to the house and explain her the situation of her daughter so she comes back with her and two sisters of my wife's sisters the minute she enter in she went mad and start saying you evil you people want to kill me you this you this she's go away from the house and my mother my step mom my mother in law and her two sisters and her two daughters left the house i struggled so much with my wife if i did not have no patient i could have divorced and move forward i'm start to thinking what is happening here and i go everywhere looking for help no help and i went one day in the morning i took her to the hospital and the hospital come back nothing is there my last hope and i'm thinking what's happened my mother in law keeps on calling me back asking how is my daughter and she said her state is like that and it's slowly slowly deteriorating i don't know what to do and she comes with one of her daughter with her in the house she comes in and when she comes in the her daughter jump and start screaming and saying you leave me you want to kill me you and my husband and you and you my sister and you my mom all of you are the same you want to kill me leave i don't want to see you and the mother tell the husband she's go she's go problem i think she's got magic go do something about it and the mother and the sis and her sister left and the brother muhammad is wondering what do i need to do I don't know what to do. What do I need to do? And he makes Fajr pop said because the whole night doesn't see the whole night the woman is crying with pain. He does everything massage everything. So he makes wudu and he goes to the masjid. The masjid is not far from him. And the minute he enter the masjid, the imam of the masjid knows him. He says, "Muhammad, what's happening? Long time I haven't seen you." And he explains and he explain all the symptoms the what she is going through. And the imam told her, "I think your wife is got magic or she's got evil eye go and get her checked find a raqi or find a ruqa who knows his job go and get checked now muhammad comes back home and start thinking my mother in my, my mother in law said this and this sheikh is saying this there must be truth behind it. so he start asking his friend his friend looking for solution and he was told to go to so so sheikh or so so raqi and he goes there the minute he enters his wife started screaming and everything and he they put her down and the the brother started the sheikh started reading and reading and reading the woman started shaking and shaking and shaking suddenly a voice of a man started to appear from the mouth of the woman screaming and everything and he saying i was sent here i'm here to do evil i'm here to make her um, suffer السحر الاذي بلاك ماجيك اوف ميكينغ هام تو هام ها ام هي تو هام ها ان تو سفا السحر الاذي ذا شيخ كاريون ريدين كاريون ريدين كاريون ريدين انتيل ذا وومن ستارت فيلينغ بيتر شي واز شيكين ا لوت اند ذن ذا برذر واز وونتد تو هولد ها بس ذا شيخ تولد دونت ليف اند شي ريد شي ريد شي ريد اند ذن ذا شيخ وايل هيز ريدين ديسكوفرد that the seher was buried behind the house of the mother that is why every time she sees her mom and sister she reacts or if is a somebody who does not have no knowledge will think those two individual of the magic is from them because the woman is reacting from that no it's not it was meant for that it was meant for her to hate the for her own family ان تو هامها سحر الاذيه وكراهيه بلاك ماجيك اوف هيت اند هامين اند ذا شيخ موفز اوت اند هي تولد محمد ليس جو تو ذا مسجد اند ذن وين في المسجد وي كم باك اند وي جو اند ديل وذ ذا ماجيك اند 
he goes to the masjid and comes back and he goes together with uh, Muhammad and his wife drove to their to the mother house and they go in the back of Hadiqa he reads and he reads and he reads and they, they f discover the spot of where the magic is and they digged and they found a head the sheikh told him the magic was buried with the head of a goat and they found exactly that because while the sheikh was reading and reading and reading he discovered the magic is buried inside the goat hair goat goat is inside the goat mouth and is being buried behind the house of the mother the mother of the woman who muhammad married his mother-in-law's house so he told muhammad muhammad let's go and pray and come back they go and pray and come back and when they come back they took the wife and the sheikh and muhammad went to the house of the family and behind it there was a ground and the magic was buried there but they don't know where the spot and the sheikh read and read and read on the woman and read and read and read and they discovered the spot and he told muhammad dig here muhammad dig and they found a head of a goat inside it and they started reading on it reading on it and undoing it cutting it stinking and everything and inside the goat they start finding papers with the name of the muhammad's wife and needles and strings and everything and the sheikh alhamdulillah undone the magic and muhammad's wife became better and the sheikh told him do not tell anybody if you tell anybody they will do it redo it again or they will renew it and you will be in the same circle again and they left but the sheikh told him one secret he said this is a magic to cause harm she must have done something to somebody and muhammad came a thought came to him in his mind the mother's sister his step his uh, mother in law sister is the one who my wife harmed her through her tongue and muhammad took his wife home and she, he advised his wife that we need to seek forgiveness to the mother to your aunt and go to your mom and keep quiet and don't be harsh like before learn from this lesson and muhammad wife from there she repented she went back now she is upon the dean she leaves everybody to their life this is a test she went through and muhammad went through because of the evil nature she had but for the aunt to go and do magic on her sister's daughter it was not correct but allah cured her If you go any story send it to me inshallah the email will be there in the end of the video with full details inshallah ask people to make dua for you stay tuned for more abu yahya from the khato wa akhiru da'wana wa salamun ala al-mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haqq